A guy named Benaniah was in a wheelchair and he rolled over a bump and fell into a hole where he saw a lion eating a snow cone who invited him to lunch. Is that it? No. <laughs> Our sources need help. Hello everybody! Welcome back. We're, we're, we are a small crew today. You'll still have to deal with this awesomeness right here. Get used to these yeah. pretty faces. Let's talk about the news. Let's, let's do it. Introduce us to the news. And I want a marker too. So you can, you know, like, yeah, look, look cool, cool just, and official. Just, let's talk about your film called Bump. You may have heard of it. Bump is a futuristic pro-life movie released theatrically through Storyteller's new program called Theatrical Release. <laughs> Great job. Not the name. It's one of the first Christian short films to have such a large theatrical run. This is what Katherine Johnson, the writer and director of Bump, had to say about the purpose of her short film. My goal is in making this short film is to spark conversations and deep discussions about the sanctity of life and that biblically it is our responsibility to protect the sanctity of life from conception all the way to old age and everywhere in between. 133 people attended the screenings of Bump and helped to raise over $1,500 for pregnancy centers in Texas, Pennsylvania, and Alabama. Fun fact for y'all, although not nominated, Bubba did qualify for an Oscar in the short film category, so that's cool. Moving on. Wheelchair met its Kickstarter goals. It is funded. Yes! <laughs> there you go. Tell us about it. Directed by Jacob Waldorf, this is a pro-life movie that hopes to one, save lives, two, inform, and three, to equip. A short film will be coming your way December of 2020. And we're supposed to do something funny. Megan wants us to incorporate something in the middle. We're like stand-up comedians now, apparently. It's like, make the people laugh. Hi, I'm funny. I'm hitting you with a knock-knock joke. Okay, knock-knock. Who's there? Atch. Atch who? Bless you. Oh. <laughs> Quality jokes. <laughs> How are stars like false teeth? <laughs> I, uh, I'm already uncomfortable about this question. <laughs> they both come out at night. <laughs> this is bad, man. Knock knock. Knock knock. knock. Who's no. there? <laughs> <laughs> Who got our rules work? Knock knock. Who's there? Tank. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes the police open up! <laughs> Don't use beef stew as a computer or password. It's not strong enough. <laughs> Are we funny enough? I hope everyone's entertained. Did you love our, our stand-up routine? Comment down below. We have a comedy show. Totally. On Netflix. On Netflix. On Netflix. We, we'll Check be, it out. We'll be funnier than Michelle Wolf. <laughs> well, everybody's funnier than Michelle Wolf. <laughs> and there's a casting call for all you actors out there. And zero of the Earth Studios are in pre-production for Mighty Men, a biblically-based movie on the story of Uriah. No. No, you put down Uriah. I did. Okay. Probably. Different yeah. mind man. A biblically based movie on the story of Ben and I, one of David's mighty men. Let me go over real quick who the characters are. A lot of males between 18 and 30 years of old. Ben, there's Ben and I, a quite nice bit about Ben and I. He was a Levite. He served under David for a very long time, and he was Solomon's hatchet man. In case you don't, don't remember that, you well, know, like chapter two of Kings, where David sits down and basically gives Solomon a list of people he wants dead. We have David, who's going to be eight, between 18 and 30. Michael, Saul's daughter, um, eight between 18 and 30. Yes, and that's a girl, and yes, it's pronounced as Michael. She actually was not the first one that Saul tried to pawn off on David. Saul actually tried to get his older daughter to marry David. David said no, and then he got Michael. But Michael, he only gave him Michael because He's trying to get David to de de dead. It's <laughs> a proper grammar. So this story movie is about Ben and I who kill the lion in a pit. On a snowy day. On a snowy day. If you want to audition, you can contact them at ends of the earth at uh, yahoo.com with a demo reel or filmed monologue, resume, headshot, and characters which you're auditioning for. There's also at their website, endsoftheearth.wixsite.com, if you also want to see what's up. So there will be links for all that in the description. Filming is May 19th through June 7th, and Saturdays are off, and it's in Hastings, Michigan. And they are currently raising funds to cover lodging, travel, and food. So if you more specifics about that, you'd have to email them. All right, we're gonna talk about our we're discussion. Gonna, we're gonna talk about stuff. 
stuff. So the poll that we said we would tell you what the results were last week was, um, the question was, where is it? What's your directing style in the area of relating to your actors? And at 25% we're best buddies, I'm approachable, but that's about it, it's 50%. My title is director, not friend, is 25%. And this is an anonymous poll, right? Had 0%. If you want to see the discussion we had about the poll, Check out our last yes. video. What are your thoughts on movies and shows adapted from novels? <clears throat> I don't mind changes being made to work as a film. I'm a book purist, so it better be 100% accurate. I prefer films and shows with original stories, and my opinions varies depending on the source material. So this is a poll on storytellers. I don't even think we said that. But as a <laughs> poll, you can go vote on it. That's a thing. Heather. What is my opinion? Yes, tell the people your opinion on this. I am three out of four of these options. I am a book peer, so it better be 100% accurate. I know that's not gonna happen. Yeah. So the books are just gonna be slightly different than the movies. You have to change stuff. You have to cut stuff when you're making it to a film because a 500 page book is not gonna be a 20 hour film. That's just not gonna happen. I don't mind changes being made to work as a film. This is going to happen anyway. Voyage of the Dawn Treader is the best example. That would require the most amount of change because as a movie, I think that would be more boring I agree. than any of the books. So you're gonna have to make changes about that. Um, I prefer films and shows with original stories. This is actually starting to, get, to grow as a pet peeve. Because right now, not, not so much with shows. Most of the movies nowadays are either based on a true story, it's a remake, it's based on an old novel. Nothing's original, almost nothing of this stuff is original. So back in the day, actually a lot more movies were original. Like Pixar. Pixar yeah. was very original and very creative. I think that's one of the reasons why they did so well. And But now they just, Disney's too busy remaking its own movies to, to put out anything original. Uh, my opinion varies depending on the source material. This is true, because yeah. some source material just stinks. Hatch and Dragon was based off a book, but the book was horrible. And the yeah, movie I was not, so it's like... <laughs> okay, so as it stands, apparently people don't like book purists, those people are obnoxious. <laughs> I don't mind changes being made to work as a film, that's 22%. I prefer films and shows with original stories, that's 33%. My opinion varies depending on the source material, that's 44%. So there you go. If you want to change the numbers, go and vote. Get a storyteller's account, vote on this, and let your opinion be known. Great. Only if it matches with mine. That's a prerequisite to getting into storytellers. All opinions must Go match and agree Heather. with Heather's. Thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, if you are not on storytellers, you should totally go do that. That's cool. So go over there, get an account, make polls, vote on polls, discuss things. It's great. It's a great time. Also, us, we are Media Realming. You may have seen our, some of our videos because they're really awesome. We are on YouTube. Check those out, subscribe, it's great. Do both and you'll be happy so, and healthy so Studies show that you live longer and happier if you subscribe to Media Realming. That, that's accurate. And if you need any more information about any of the news items that we mentioned, everything will be in the links in the description. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. Signing off. Bye. We'll see you later. Ciao. Bye.